Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 28th of 2024 is titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. So what do we see here? Well, this is the globular star cluster known as Omega Centauri, a globular cluster about 15,000 light years away and containing many millions of stars. Now, what is a globular cluster? Well, it's kind of like a miniature galaxy, not near the size of a galaxy itself. It's only about 150 light years in diameter, very small compared to a galaxy like ours, which could be 100,000 light years across. But they are in a way many elliptical galaxies. So not quite like our Milky Way because they are populated by very old stars. And that is common among elliptical galaxies which have a very old population of stars and very few young stars such as galaxies like our own Milky Way. Now this is the largest uh, and the most prominent of the globular clusters known around our Milky Way. They form around our Milky Way in a spherical halo. So our galaxy, we think of our galaxy as just a spiral, a spiral galaxy in a flat disk, but that is just a portion of our galaxy. There is also a spherical halo around it, which contains generally older stars and the globular clusters. And in fact, it is globular clusters such as this one that helped us to originally determine what our location was within the Milky Way. Earlier, we would have felt like we were closer to the center because we'd measure similar amounts of stars in every direction. However, when we started calculating distances to globular clusters, we found that they were centered not around the sun, but around a point way away from the sun and that we were actually out toward the edge of our galaxy and not anywhere near the central portions. So here we get to see an example of one of those globular clusters. We can see it's dominated by red stars. You can see all of those red stars. These are giant and super giant stars, which are actually stars much like our own sun that have reached the end of their lives. When they reach the end of their lives, they become very different types of stars and they become much larger as well. And that will happen to our sun eventually. It will exhaust its fuel and it will become a much larger star, becoming a super giant star. Now, one of the interesting things we find out about Omega Centauri is that it shows slightly different stellar populations. It's got a wider range of ages and uh, abundances, heavy element abundances present in it. And that makes us wonder if perhaps Omega Centauri may be the core left over of a small galaxy and that much of the other material would have been ripped off and eventually combined with the Milky Way. Now this does happen to galaxies quite often and it's possible that the core survived and now appears to us as the globular cluster in our picture for today. So that was our picture of the day for March 28th of 2024. It was titled Millions of Stars in Omega Centauri. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.